Hello, Internet friends, and welcome back to a variant dungeon run, the new Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker patch 6.25 dungeon stuff that came in. Did finish out everything from the last run. The first one I did, actually, unlocked the another Sildin subterrain, which is more along the lines of the hard mode version, a little more curated. This is going to be a, a group activity. Whereas the variant dungeon is still the single player stuff. I did the last run on Dark Knight. So I'm going to try this one as White Maid, which is much higher eye level. Although I don't think that matters a whole lot. As the eye level does get synced to 635 regardless. We did also unlock the journal. Which these are all the different runs you can do in here. To learn all of the story for the entire run. Which you do get the weird hamster mount for doing it, I suppose. So we're going to run this with the Rampart, which is a huge shield and a 20% damage reduction, which I basically have to spam to keep that up and then use the shield on big hits. And then, of course, the Spirit Dart, so we can just do more damage. So let's see. This might be a little more boring due to uh, I'm playing it as a White Mage, but I am also curious how it will play out with the scaling as a healer due to I don't have any of the defensive tank cooldowns. Does the enemy still use tank busters on me oh yeah see that hp went up because of the level sync right there so three gates we went through the first gate already well nanamo is going to the right side this time so i guess it is random last time again if you didn't see our map we went straight middle and only uncovered so much there's like a big gap here and over here too so i guess we'll just follow nanamo again she wants to go this way if it was this, if she picked directly up, I would have chosen a different direction. But she chose right, so we'll go right. Each subterrain has a different theme, and you have to do so many different things in each. There's four outcomes, I guess, on average. There's a lot of weird spider stuff here. Nald, preserve me from creepers and crawlers. Pray clear the path. Oh, there's like weird. What the hell? They're fish? They're not bugs? What the? What is this? They're moths? Put up our DR. Cast this bad boy. Yeah, so I'm curious how damage will feel being a, a caster, essentially, and not a tank. Both damage I take and damage I deal. Yes, there will be holy spam if there's AoE to be done. Now mind your eyes, I guess. Although, actually, single targeting down mobs with the, the double big dots is actually not, not too bad. The potency is still the same. Do they feed on down here, each other? And why must it smell so positively putrid? This is gross. You can't fall down, although this is a little bit broken, I guess. Nasty. So we are in the... Oh, we actually went backwards and around. The sanitation sluices. Lovely. Do we want to touch this? Okay. Shield up. Let's get the stun and back up so we can... That should spirit dart everyone. It did not spirit dart everyone. Okay, that got everyone. It's an AoE around the target. Gotcha. Didn't really pay attention to it much when I was on my... on my tank, because I was in AoE and melee with everything anyway. But not too bad on the actual damage. I do have the 20% DR up. Let's see, can I just eat? Oh, okay. Quite a big shield. It's a potency of 21,000 for the shield. Which, that number doesn't mean a whole lot, I suppose. The way potency works in Final Fantasy XIV, all the tooltips just basically say potency, like 310, 500, 250. And it's a uh, representation of, I guess, spell power, essentially. Or attack power. Even... Oh, wait. If even empty of pests, this place is dank, mold-ridden nightmares. How long has it lain untended? Ugh. Pfft, pfft. And she got, I like, guess, spider web in her face. 
foam if I'd fell in my in my <laughs> wait what you say foam of id fell in my booth what no no are you speaking in tongues is adventuring always this disgusting I should rather not traverse a fungal bridge but I suppose if we hurry across it is a little bit fungusy also what is this aura is there a different aura coming off of my my staff now oh did they I didn't notice that I guess there are improvements in particle effects in this patch maybe oh heck dies right and the freaking Marlboro well it's an aqua dot M Amorat Amoratarat for and Amoratat the hell is that blood for the blood lily only almost a 50k hit no big deal the decay is especially bad in this section I fear the fungal growth is all which keeps it from collapsing those look like grocery bags full of green vegetables or weird nut sacks I don't know what you want to like sacks of nuts like they have a whole bunch of round nuts in them or balls nay this rock cannot be allowed to continue the tunnels need reinforcement not to mention a thorough cleaning ah I was told that this is the first boss always the same but what he does is different Gary on the steer so it's always this guy this boss but there is differences in what he do oh he still definitely has a, a tank buster I guess so I have to use that shield huh and it's the shutter what's it do over here because this one's all like watery and gooey okay the water do be rising oh you, there was a subtle difference in the way the water rose I see I see yep exploding catapult will double shield okay oh okay so still is he playing games mind the barrels tops yeah so these are still the same but now the barrels were gonna get pushed around by water Ooh, okay wait 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 sorry just canceled that global to put my shield up okay, good so yeah now I'm curious that colossal slam goes off it didn't push the barrel or anything putting catapult again damage doesn't seem too bad even as a healer probably being carried pretty hard by that dot but this is colossal launch so this one will become the only safe one yeah because it flips them over gotcha we've learned that from our previous run putting catapult just gonna heal after that so I can proc a blood lily here I'm gonna re-dot him and then you do be spinning oh can I I don't have sprint up okay we got there can you actually just stand still let's test this does it actually just go one square so you just move one square over nope it does not so it goes it overlaps one square double bubble He's charging that side. I want to be over here. That times out pretty close. Let's reshield here. Probably does a tank buster next. Or just the shutter. Okay, so the AoE. No, not the AoE. That's the water. Ah, okay. So yeah, you see the water come up in two of them and the other two. Oh, there's a room wide. 
Okay, so again, yeah, same model. This is the AOE. We got two and two. Fossil swing there. We have to go here to be safe. Surprising that the swing doesn't interact with the barrels at all. I figured it would. No, it definitely does not. Because auto attacks seem weaker. I don't know if that's just because I have the 20% DR up all the time. Those auto attacks on my tank still felt actually pretty strong. Little of size there. We can do a little move. Oh, never mind. We're safe here. Misery for the win. Nope. Almost down. Should go down here to the... There we go. I did slide cast that a little too early, but okay. Not too bad. Personal spoils. Oh, we got a chair. A whole freaking chair. A wooden chair crafted in the Sildin style. Not bound. Get more of these damn Deceiver's Diamonds. But yeah, this, this Sildin pot shards. This is the currency to unlock other stuff. So if you can best a a hecaton share so handily, but it certainly bodes well for the remainder of our expedition. Is that what that type of mob is? Is that what he's called? A hecaton share. All one word. I mean hecaton and then share. All one word. I think this is oh such so cavernous. Hollow yawns directly beneath old dot. Yeah, what the heck? Raising one of the lifts should provide us passage across, assuming, of course, that the winch yet functions. So I wonder, do these chests just have a chance to give you stuff? Just like how I got a, a chance to get that chair, but it's if it's Deceiver's Diamonds, it's just nothing. So we get Rusty Winch, which you click in the space above nothing. So we were doing a lot of left choices first. So we'll stay doing left choices as because unlocking everything is probably going to require you to come in here and pick a direction, then go like right, left or left, right or left, left and then right, right. Maybe there's only so many options you can go, but we'll go left again. Left gang. Interesting. The lift appears of old odd design, albeit an old one, but everything else screams. Yeah. Oh, Amalja. Because oh, I guess because it's just like orcish architecture looking stuff that's outside of Ulda. It does have a bit of an orcish feel to it, like Lord of the Rings orc stuff. Just building into the mountain faces with a whole bunch of like metal trimmings and stuff. A little cleaner than orc and goblin architecture, but it kind of has that vibe. Uh, rock roly polies. All right. Let's get them all dotted up. Excellent. And then we have some holy spam. Because this is how white mage AoEs. We don't have any other option, really. Unless we have an Aflatus Misery charge built up. Bonk. My damage isn't too, too bad. Did those rolling boulders just sprout legs? Yes, most definitely. A Malaja construction. Fortifications built for war rather than for habitation, I would say. This one is also way dark. After you, I have an aversion to needles. Oh, got some cactar down here. Or sorry, sabo tenders. Guess they don't have the rights to say cactar. But the cactars are also in, in this game too. Oh god. I didn't know if he would get stunned. Look like it did stun. Okay. Lots of little frontal cones going on here. I wonder if the HP values are lower, if it knows my job. I have to go in here as like a DPS and see if these things have like 90k HP or how much HP the bosses have. I'm just not sure how, how much scaling these do. That's what I'm curious. Bonk. A lot of weird mushrooms. Could this can't be one of the time of... Oh. From the time of the zombie purge? Was father hoping 
I would see this one day. The zombie purge. <laughs> I'll reshield up here. Yep, forgotten foe bad. These are too far apart. Oh, never mind. They're close enough to double dot. Probably want to just get rid of these soulless charges real quick. Just so I have one ready for the next large trash pack. This is just two mobs. I'm not going to waste it on that. Okay. Big frontal cone burp action. Yeah. So to put it in perspective, my dot is only 60 potency. This dot is 2040 potency. So interesting how they scale the damage with a dot to help you do more. Because you still have to deal with mechanics. The dot will help you kill it, but it's not going to make you kill it really fast. What's over here? Did you know that Ulda, oh, that Uldan and Amalja once fought side by side? It is not common knowledge. This is a different path or a gate. Not sure how to open that. Maybe you have to go the other direction. Yeah, there are new particles coming off of my staff. This is one of the forms of the Shadowbringer's relic weapons for White Mage. I just use this one, obviously, because it matches my armor. It's fire and fire. A door of solid iron and no sign of a key to open it. Do you see any handy levers or the like? Foreboding door. A message is engraved in the common tongue. In the beginning, the Lord of the Inferno shared with us his flame dark souls speak the name of the gift he bestowed upon our bloodline on the lord of the sacred fire uh, sorry i'm a servant to the sacred fire wielder of the flame of aronoth or whatever the hell the gandalf says sacred fire i don't know oh lord of the rings reference impressive a lifetime adventure teaches one more than just battlecraft i see i just there was a lord of the rings reference in the lore before we came back in here, so. At least there was a Lord of the Rings style meme answer. So, I mean, the references are here and there. So, tis no stately or sub or, or subdued in here. I'm reminded of Aralig's burial chamber. Who the hell is Aralig? Oh, that's a cool reveal. The Fallen Hero's Sarcophagus. This is so Dark Souls-ish. What the hell? Look at all the coffins. Sarcophagi. On the walls here. Holy crap. Hmm. Okay. Do we just... Yeah, what did we uncover? The ceremonial stores, not uncovered. There's another path over here. That's probably just the left path where it goes from the front. It looks like this fades off as well. There's something in this section. Okay. Open the sarcophagus then. Cutscene. Oh, yeah, indeed. Who's the boss? It's a different boss. Hey! It's a zombie Amalja, undead shadow caster. Is it Zealous? Zealous Crash? Zealous Crash? Zealous Gah? That. Nanamo, is that a... How do you see? Oh, she's hiding behind the stairs. Okay. Well, then. So be it. You do have 2.3 million HP. Zombie Horde. Could this be the warrior endured since the Thorn Dynasty? That was centuries ago. Oh, Death Wall. It's going to have knockback mechanics, potentially. Look at the floor. It's got different symbols on it, too. Infern Brand. 
I am doing a good amount of damage. Okay, so those are going to line nukes. I'm assuming they're line nukes. Yeah, okay. They look like they're from... Uh... Oh, he still does a freaking tank buster. Also, it reset my lily stacks. I just realized that. I'm, I'm mad. Infern brand. Uh, these... Are these circle nukes? Ah, okay. Yep. I've been playing Final Fantasy for over a year. There are certain tells you get used to. will bubble up. Are you just spamming all these brand attacks? How are they going to combine? Uh, this one's safe. If they move... Yeah. Okay, so it's a s positional shift oriented boss. That's like a boss from last last expansion in, in Shadowbringers. One of the Eden bosses did mechanics like this. Uh, that's not safe. Oh, I'm getting hit. I took too long to decide. Oh, you can go all the way to the... I mean, yeah, I'm dead. So you can go all the way to the corner. It doesn't... Uh, okay. It doesn't cover everything. I was wondering if there was like an offset pattern where you'd have a space between one and two of them, but it looks like you just go to the... You just go to the wall corner opposite of the... You go to the wall corner where it's going to flip away from you. Okay. That's fine. Let's get our mana back. We don't res with full mana. Very neat. We'll pre pre pop this and get in there. Not really too bad. Just those mechanics just one shot you if if they hit you. So so yeah. Show of strength was the first mechanic he cast. Was that just the? Oh, that's just the floor. Okay. So he's going to show me the brands. Yeah, and those are the line nukes. Oh, they are in different positions. So there's going to be line nukes that can swap places or the circle explosions that also can swap places. And we'll just heal that up after the charge. I am assuming that the firewall does just kill me. It is a, a boss death wall, I imagine. These are the circle nukes. You do have to get kind of close to the edges. Let's actually just double check. How large... Okay, I mean, it, it is a large chunk. That is for sure. But that's the only way that you can make these at least that bit challenging is they have to be really punishing mechanics. So this is the safe one. Nope, that's not safe. I'm dead. I'm not dead. Oh, you have a... Oh, you have a... Okay. I misjudged based on his model. You do have a little bit of time to adjust. So you could stand between safe spots and then wiggle. But obviously not ideal. Yeah, so if that one is changing away from me and that one is coming towards me... There should still be enough space right here. Yeah, okay. Same pattern from earlier. All right, watching mechanics. Let my dots drop off. Being a little low in the mana here. Oh, those are new. What the heck? Trespassers perish. So those line lasers that sit there? Oh, do they just stand there and just get in the way? And I assume I just can't touch it. So it makes running through th as a... Oh, it's like a zigzag pattern now. If, okay. That's his second mechanic. All right, well, infer that's fine. It's right here. Safe spot again. So... 
this is the safe spot here. He's going to ramp up things and do them at the same time, I bet. Okay, good call on that shield. Kind of wasted some GCD time there, but whatever. Not really too concerned about that on my first solo boss fight here. Cast Shadow? Oh. I've done Hades. Show of strength again. You still shamble on. That was just a yell. So he's doing a brand again. Wait, delay cast? Brand and wards? Oh, holy crap. Pure fire. That's the targeted nuke. Okay, and then one of these. Slide cast in. Into a show of strength. I'll pop wings just because it looks cool. Doesn't add a DPS benefit or anything. It's purely defensive. Get on my own bubble. We'll redot. Oh, I'll waste the OGCD here. So that's... Those are bad. This is safe against the wall here. Should be safe. Yep. All right, watch the mechanic. Got my own dot drop off there. Snapshot this. Feels so dirty mouse clicking those ac extra actions, but... I have one. I guess I can use the duty action that's bound to my shift H, but I don't have a bound action for the other one. Okay, how are you going to make this more complicated? It's just the one... One brand set? Alright, well, that's not too bad. Oh, they turn into the other one. Well, this is the safe spot then. Nothing overlaps down here. I'm surprised these little crown don't do anything. They're just the point of the flip-flop. Okay. Not bad. Shadows past. A tragic end to a valiant warrior. He at least seemed unaware of his affliction. And yet so abhorrent was the zombie curse, even a hero of his obvious stature was sealed behind an iron door. If only that powder had never been concocted, heavy do I feel the burden of my ancestor's sin that day. Yep, some pot shirts. So make a return then? There seems little reason to linger here. All right. I mean, that was a little bit easier. I was doing less mechanically because I'm doing it as a white mage compared to a dark knight, even though I'm not... Oh, we've covered so much. I've covered, uncovered much and more. Plenty enough to occupy my thoughts for the time being. We have... You have my thanks. Oh, okay. I mean, I... A little easier to play a healer than a, than a DPS while I'm sight reading because I can just kind of sit here and spam my filler and watch the boss mechanic and then do the boss mechanic puzzle and then keep, keep doing damage. That wasn't too bad, though. But if you enjoy this little sealed-in subterrain side series or if you want to check out the main stuff i'm doing on the channel which is all the dark souls or elden ring or right now god of war live streams then the like button's down below next to the subscribe button and th there are buttons on youtube it's not your first rodeo i'm sure if you like the stuff or want to see more of the stuff then you know what to do thank you all very much for watching y'all have a great night have a great morning whoever comes first i forgot to say in the last episode i'm bad <sighs> and i'll see you all in the next video Bye -bye.